My name is Tom Thee, and welcome to the Virginia Baker Remembered Baking Series. This is the non-buttercream coffee cake segment. Okay, I'm going to finish up the coffee cakes with three coffee cakes that did not use buttercream on them. The first of that being cinnamon crumb cake. The second one was the old-fashioned cinnamon, or what we sometimes call the drop butter. And the last one was the praline pecan, which I kind of got inspired in New Orleans with. All right, these coffee cakes just flatten out the dough. We don't need to watch the yellow dough segment as well as the cinnamon crumb segment in order to make this. So I've got our yellow dough here. Pat it down in the pan. Make sure you get it all the way into the corners. You do not need a lip on this because there's no buttercream involved. One of the easiest coffee cakes to make at the bakery. Flatten the dough. Take some melted butter and wash it generously. Now, just coat the top evenly with some cinnamon crumbs. A little bit more here. You can use as little or as much as you like. And there we go. That's the cinnamon crumb coffee cake. Okay, the other two coffee cakes were what we call drop butter cakes. And you'll see what I mean by this in a second. You want to take your butter stick. Fairly softened, but not too soft. You want it to be a little bit firm so these chunks stay where they are. You're going to put 16 little dots of butter about the size of a Hershey Kiss on top of this coffee cake. Got our butter on there. You see the 16 individual little dots? Oh, got to get that corner straightened out. Now, you're going to take this and sprinkle it with powdered sugar all over the top. We kept bends of this stuff around. Powdered sugar, cinnamon sugar. Then you take your cinnamon sugar, sprinkle the top, and there you have it. The old-fashioned cinnamon. Now, the only thing different about the praline pecan is you do it the same way. You put the drop butter, the butter pieces in. Then if you turn the page over, you'll find the recipe. You just mix uh, brown sugar and pecans and a little bit of butter to moisten it. Then cover the whole top with that. When that brown sugar hits this butter in the oven, you're going to get this nice caramelization. It's really rich and gooey. All right, well, those are the non-buttercream coffee cakes. The coffee cakes are done proofing. Um, there are two ways to accomplish this at home. Either you can just leave them sit out in a warm place, like on top of the stove here, cover them with a cloth to keep the air off the dough. Or, like we had at the bakery, we had what was called a proof box. But this thing was a big box. It was steam injected, and we could slide whole sheet pans in and out. You could kind of create the same thing at home. You put a little pan of water in the bottom of your oven. You turn your oven on to 200 degrees. After it preheats, you shut it off and you put the items that you want to proof in the oven. Now that's what I've done with the coffee cakes here. You'll see that they're just puffy around the sides. The butter hasn't melted yet. These will be ready to go by the time the oven is preheated. Always make sure to preheat your oven before you bake. It's been 25 minutes. We're going to check these cakes. Probably done. Pull them out of the oven. All right. Oh yeah, nice and golden brown around the edges. I want to show you this to know if it's done or not. You press in the center of the thing. If it comes back up, see how that did that? That cake is done. If you press down and it stays down, it's not done. All right. Let's get the old-fashioned cinnamon out. Oh yeah, she looks good too. See all those butter pockets down in there? Dough springs nice and back. Those cakes are done perfect. Okay, we're going to let those rest about 15 or 20 minutes, then we're going to take them out of the pan. The coffee cakes have cooled down, and now it's time to take them out of the pan. The easiest way to do that is to use a bench scraper. You can either use a metal one like this, or a plastic one. Just go around, loosen the sides. So in your crumb cake stuff that doesn't have like a gooey topping, you can just flip over in your hand. Hold it, see? And flip it right back on a cardboard board or a plate, whatever you're going to use. Now, if you don't have 
a nice bench scraper at home. You can always use just a spatula. Go around and loosen the sides. Kind of dig under the cake a little bit. Loosen everything up. Now go back around to the original side you start with. That's the flat there. Make sure you got everything and just lift it out. That's the old old-fashioned cinnamon coffee cake. There you have it.